Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on March the 3rd, 2020. USS Trump calls to interest rate cutting. With the coronavirus spreading unpredictably, U.S. nationals mounted pressure for global policymakers to respond with financial crisis-style stimulus measures to prevent the threat to the world economy. Amid this, American President Donald Trump on Tuesday called on the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates significantly, saying higher borrowing costs at the top on its exporters and puts the country at a disadvantage. In a tweet early Tuesday after the U.S. death toll rose to six, Trump applied to the Federal Reserve to make up for China's coronavirus situation and slow down. As finance ministers from the group of seven economists prepared to discuss how to counter the growing economic storm, central banks in the United States, Japan, Britain and France have hinted publicly at stimulus steps and Australia cut interest rates on Tuesday. China to devote funds to prevent coronavirus Chinese government allocated a total of 108.75 billion yen, 15.58 billion dollars in special funds by March the 2nd to prevent the spread of the coronavirus epidemic, a finance ministry official said on Tuesday. Fu Jinlin, head of the Social Insurance Division of the Ministry of Finance, said that China also devoted 1 trillion yen in social insurance payment for a country's business to support the resumption of production. He added that China is aiming to cut the total tax burden on enterprises by 510 billion yen this year and was also allowing firms in the virus-striking province of Hubei to waive insurance payments for five months. Foxconn plans to recover production through March Foxconn, the Taiwanese firm which assembles Apple's iPhone, reported it would resume normal production in China by the end of the March, saying that more than half in seasonal workforce in the country had restarted work following the coronavirus outbreak. On Tuesday, company's chairman Liu Yanwei sought to reassure investors and said there were no big problems with the supply chain due to coronavirus outbreak and that Foxconn was helping suppliers resume work. However, the world number one contract manufacturer said it was unable to predict the virus's actual impact on its full-year results. U.S. Thermo Fisher Scientific buys Dutch Kyogen NV U.S. laboratory equipment maker Thermo Fisher Scientific Inc. agreed on acquisition of Kyogen NV, a Dutch maker of tests of diseases including cancer and the coronavirus, for about 9 billion euros, $10 billion, after restoring discussions that broke off late last year. Investors will get 39 euros in cash for every Kyogen share, Thermo Fisher said on Tuesday. That's 23% higher than Monday's closing price. Kaijin also sells products for food and forensic testing. Kaijin shares rose as much as 22% in Frankfurt. Thermo Fisher said the purchase will boost the earnings per share immediately after the deal is closed, which is expected in the first half of 2021. The company expects synergies of $200 million in the third year after completion. Shares oil continue to recover on policy measures. Global stocks and oil prices extended gains on Tuesday as policymakers indicated their willingness to help ease to economic fallout from the coronavirus. The improved sentiment helped U.S. S&P 500 futures rose 1 percent in Asian trade. European stocks futures also indicated a strong open, with the stocks 50 futures and German DAX futures both added 0.8 percent, while FTSE futures climbed 0.7 percent. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan advanced 0.7 percent, although Japan's Nikkei lost steam and closed 1.2 percent lower. Australian shares ended down 0.7 percent, with bank shares easing after the central bank cut interest rates to a record low of 0.5 percent, the fourth reduction in less than a year. In the oil market, U.S. West Texas Intermediate crude futures surged 1.4 percent to $47.40 a barrel, while brand crude contracts increased 1.16 percent to $52.43 per barrel.